I forget my train of thought from time to time. You got 12 years on me, sir. Are, have you been tested for some degree of cognitive decline? Guys, I really do have to go. I apologize. I'm going to get in real trouble. I'm all probably already in trouble, but thank you. Go ahead. What's the last? I'm sorry. Good to see you out and about, Mr. Vice President. Um, I'm a little confused about the delineation uh, about the destruction of monuments. You, you talk about the fathers of this country, Washington, Jefferson, is, is worthy of preservation. Are Confederate monuments worthy of preservation? Should they be torn down in the manner that they are being torn down without, without the vote of local elected officials? Well, I think it's very different. I think it's better if they're taken down like they took the Confederate flag off the Mississippi flag. That's the better way of doing it. But I can understand. I can understand the anger and anguish that people feel by having, for years and years, been under the statue of Robert E. Lee, who, if you're an African American. So it's a difference. It's always better to do it peacefully. But there's a distinction between, and those, those monuments, and, it's, and I, 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 I shift responsibility, and I'm not, I think the elected officials where those statues are have a responsibility to move. Put them in museums. Get them down. But don't expect, if you have sitting in front of you after all these years and we finally, finally are going through another phase of maybe responding to the systemic racism in America and what we've seen happen, is don't be surprised if someone pulls down the statue of Jefferson Davis. It's better that they do not. But it's fundamentally different than pulling down the statue or going into the Lincoln Memorial and trying to pull, uh, you know, not Lincoln Memorial. I, I, that, that, that's a bad example. The Jefferson Memorial and grabbing Jefferson over his chair. So. Two, qui two quickies. Um, will you commit to three debates? Oh, yes. Three? Three, yeah. I, I, I commit to it. Look, I am committed to following the debate, the, uh, the national debate group that sets up these debates, who they pick as the moderators, three of them. It's been for this way for a long time. The first one is a one-on-one -on -one debate with a moderator. The next one is a, a town meeting setting. The third one is uh, a, a normal debate again. I commit to those. I'm looking forward to it. Last, last question real quick. Some have speculated, You're a sir, line, that, that, you, that you are subject to some degree of cognitive decline. I'm 65. I don't have word recollection that I used to have. I forget my train of thought from time to time. You got 12 years on me, sir. Are, have you been tested for some degree of cognitive decline? I've been tested and I'm constantly tested. Look, all, you, all I got to do is watch me and I can hardly wait to compare my cognitive capability to the cognitive capability of the man I'm running against. Thank you so much.